the year so far, Bridge to Terabithia has just come out on home video. Josh Hutcherton and Anna Sophia Robb play two misfits who form an unlikely friendship based on a fantasy land they call Terabithia. Warriors. Um, try dragonflies. No, they're warriors. From the treetop provinces. I, I don't know this game. What game? This is for real. This is the ruins of the once great fortress, whose people have been imprisoned. Jess, you and I have been sent to free them. And here they are, Josh Hutcherson and Anna Sophia Robb. It's great to have you guys here, Anna Sophia. Seem to be here all the time with all the movies you're doing, so it's so nice to see you again. Thank you. It's good to be here. This was a big surprise box office hit, but maybe shouldn't have been a surprise because the book is so special, isn't it? Yeah, it's a great book, and you know, it's great to be part of something like that. And to see it kind of go through that process of going through a book to a script to a movie is just a great process to be a part of. What do you think it is, Anna Sophia, about the story that really resonated not only with kids, but adults also? Well, I think. Um with adults, it reminded them of their childhood and pretending in the forest and having a good time with their friends. And I think for kids, it makes them want to pretend and want to go out in the forest and create their own Terabithia. This is about a couple of kids. We called them misfits a few seconds ago. And, and I guess they were because your character is an artist. Um, he was teased a lot. Your character was sort of the new kid that came into school. They experienced a lot of bullying. Is that anything that you could relate to from growing up? Well, actually, when I first started acting um, in about fourth and fifth grade, I got bullied around by some of the kids in my school. I guess for a lot of the same reason that Jess was getting bullied around because he was doing something different than everybody else. So I got bullied for that, but, you know, I tried to overcome it and realize that they were just doing it because they got a kick out of seeing me kind of get upset. So I had to try to not let it bother me. And that was a lot easier said than done. But I got over it. You know, it's a good thing to teach kids about and teach them how to stand up to bullies. Your character wants to be the fastest kid in school. Yeah. And you come in and completely foil that plan, yeah. right, by, by beating him in a race. Uh -huh. I understand you weren't too happy about that twist in the plot. No, <laughs> I should have won totally. <laughs> now, rigged. when you guys were rehearsing, though, did you, you know, get the best of oh, yeah. Anna yeah. Sophia? I, just for myself, my own ego, I had to he do at least once. On, on tape, um, like on camera, he'd actually beat me just to prove to everyone <laughs> that he was the fastest. Typical guy. I right? know. Uh, what can you do? You guys become such close friends in the movie. Did you become friends off screen also? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, it's often because in movies you get kind of thrown together with people and you don't know if you're going to like them or not. And just, you know, we'd be happy to make really good friends. And we actually only met like a couple hours before flying to New Zealand. So we became good friends. This is all about the power of imagination, don't you think? What do you, what do you think kids take out of that? I think uh, it's a really important message um, right now because a lot of kids are playing a ton of video games. Mm -hmm. And, um, I mean, video games are fun, but you have to have a good balance of using your imagination and being outside and also, you know, playing your video games at home. But I think this movie might make them want to go outside and, and have a good time. People who don't know this movie and hear about it, the one thing you hear is that, that there is something very sad that happens in the movie, and right. everybody cries. Yeah. Uh, but, but isn't that tragedy an important part of the story? It is. You know, I think a lot of times in uh, family movies, they kind of weave around that they don't take it like the full hit but in this movie we kind of let it happen and you know it's something it's, it's a good conversation to start with families and you know something the kids need to learn about at some point or another so what better way to learn about it than through a great movie like this there are some extra things that we're going to see on the dvd including your music video you sang a song i know the movie <laughs> wow what do you think about as a singing career maybe something on the horizon that you i i don't do? know i had a lot of fun doing the music video and singing Song. I mean, it came kind of as a shock to me because I didn't know I'd be singing a song for the movie. But I had a great time. But I think I'll stick to acting. There you go. And I know you guys both have the summer off. You're going to go back home with your friends. I'm so yes. happy that you're going to get a little downtime. Yes, yeah. it'd be nice. So thanks so much for being with us. And we're giving away the DVDs here on the Plaza, which is very cool. Three copies of The Bridge to Terrible.